Hey guys, I want to share a story of something that happened to me in the last couple days um, that I thought was pretty interesting, and uh, you might too. So, I mentioned in the last video I did about how I've been collecting these leaf battery modules. I'm trying to get together 56 of them to build a power wall, and as I've been getting them, I've been running them through a couple of cycles each to test their capacity. And I've found, actually, even getting these things in bulk, that the capacities range from as high as 340 watt hours a module down to as low as 280. And the reason that happens is one, because all these modules have come from different batteries. The, the seller has collected um, probably hundreds of these Nissan Leaf battery packs and they have some guy that goes in and opens them up, takes them apart, and packages these things to sell to DIYers like myself. But the other reason that these capacities vary so much across these batteries is because different parts of the battery pack heat up more than others and uh, accelerate that degradation. So when you're building a power wall, you don't really need good quality, like, 300, like 60 or 70% of their original capacity batteries because you can always just add a few more that are worn down. Um, weight and space don't really matter that much when you're just stacking them on a shelf in your garage. So these can still, this is like the equivalent of a eight or a nine bar leaf at 340 watt hours. And it almost seems like a shame for me to use those in a power wall when they can still like add a little bit of life onto an old leaf. Not even a couple of days after I, I was thinking about that, my buddy Shinoki called me up. Um, he has two batteries in his leaf, one in parallel that he keeps in the trunk. And uh, Murphy's Law kicked in when he was hauling something around and something fell onto his battery pack in the back of it, punctured one of the cells. And when one cell in the 48 cells, when one module in the 48 module series is out of commission, it kills the whole battery with it. So he called me up and asked if I knew any good, any good spot to get them and said, man, I can one up you on that. Actually, I've already got a couple of them that are probably about as good a condition as you're going to find eight or nine bars on the aftermarket. And I can go ahead and ship those out to you tomorrow because I guess he's Ubering to work now while his leaf's out of commission. So some of the relatively undergraded modules that I got out of my bulk order that were intended for a power wall that happen to be still have the capacity to be usable inside of a vehicle will be going to a vehicle you know only a couple weeks after i got them and it'll help keep somebody's car on the road and i just thought that was kind of neat story it had a little bit of science in it a little bit of ev community in it and uh just a little bit of people helping out other people in it so hope you found it interesting i'll see you guys next time